Okay, so we're going to be talking about creative versus technical writing. How is creative writing different from technical writing? Technical writing, there's a limit and also there's a certain purpose. So technical writing focuses on factual. Factual, when we say factual, it answers what, when, where, and how based on reality, based on things that you observe. And also, what's the use? It's to inform and... Okay, so we have focuses on factual so that's what we have to remember it's factual and it's straightforward unlike technical writing it's there to inform and instruct and educate the user about some specific topics for example if you're gonna buy a television then a television comes with a manual right so what you're gonna do is you read the manual and that kind of writing is called technical writing It gives you information on how to do something. It gives you more information about how to use the television that you have just bought. There's actually a lot. All right, we have press releases. Do you know what is press releases? For example, kanus a magpa vaccine. So those are what we call press releases, resumes, and then we have job applications, and then memos, and then we have training manual, and then product specifications. So for example. You bought a certain product and specific. What is that product all about? Then that is product specification. Now let's talk about creative writing. Um, unlike it's imaginative, it's symbolic. It's um, for example, you want to write a novel and you created a character in that novel. You created a universe. You created a whole new world. You created a lot of characters, and you want that character to die. Can be anything. If you are a writer, if you're an author, can you imagine Kuhole, Kuhole creative writing? Our, our world would be so dull. Our world would be so boring. When you are, when you are writing, that's why I ask you to have like a journal with you all the time because this is some sort of like practice for you. So you can actually practice a lot with the journal and also you can find a lot of ideas in your journal for example if you want to write a novel diva sometimes it's really hard it's really hard to make a to make a character dis, uh, distinct what you're going to do is write a journal it's more of like a diary and at the same time your practice session it's more like helping yourself becoming a better writer examples novels poems songs legends short stories movies There is no specific reader, so anyone can read. May it be an adult, a child, a son, sister, brother, whatever. You can read as long as you want to be entertained and you just want to pass the time. Then yeah, you can read. Usually, if standard gana, standard and formal, standard and formal lang ang lang the nerd. Standard and formal lang ang allowed ha sa technical writing. But in creative writing, it has an artistic style of writing. You can basically do whatever you want. For example, you want that person to always stutter. For example, you want that person to not be smart. Then, kung sa'yo mong isulat sa'yo mong iyahang mga dialogue, di mga buguon ng mga words, di ba? Nga nang mga kaik siya kabalo. So that means, it you can be anything. So that's when I keep on telling you that creative writing, you have a lot of freedom. Okay, this is the constitution of the kingdom of Thailand. This is technical writing. That's correct. Mm-hmm. Trilogy. True. So this is a product of imagination. So this is what we call. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's right. Great the writing. Okay. Kani memo. Memo. Technical writing. Okay, that's right. Technical writing. Next, kana. <laughs> Ay wala pa. <laughs> Creative writing. Okay, that's right. Creative writing, good na. Okay, next. Ah, oh, na. 
Creative writing. Okay, that's yeah. right. Creative writing. <laughs>